one is your AI needs to be easy to modify and interpret. And let me, let me just describe the persona of a typical factory worker anymore. The factory worker is comfortable with Lean Six Sigma. So he's very comfortable with looking at his five data points, messing around with them, tweaking and experimenting to change the inputs and see how his outputs are changing. So he has that scientific experimental mindset. Now you can't go to a person like that and give him a black box and expect him to be able to trust the recommendations or predictions coming from the technology. So the AI that you build needs to be open. You need to be able to give the user a way to define the input parameters and show the relationships and tweak them. So, and the AI recommendations need to be able to interpret by him. So he needs to understand where this is coming from. So how we implemented this was, this was one of our initial learnings and we designed a compiler. So we designed a build time training tool which had all of the capabilities to, to allow him to change the model that we predefined to, make, to fit it for the customer's processes. So what a typical user would do would, once we give him the model, he would tweak input one, maybe increase that by 10%, maybe decrease input three by 20%, and he would change these parameters, validate and verify the outputs, and then be able to finally be comfortable with the way the recommendations are being driven. So AI should not be a black box. Make sure you give your user a way to modify it and interpret it.